local weather authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Well, good evening, everybody. We've got some nice clear skies out there again for this evening. Our planet has shown back up here on the Sky Tracker thanks to those clear, clear conditions overhead. But it hasn't always been clear here in West Texas today. A lot of blowing dust out there as a result of some very strong winds. Thankfully, those winds have died down for now. Our Sky Tracker looking steady as a rock for now, too. So good news there. And thanks to that Sky Tracker, good look at our planet, friend, and also a good look at those clear skies overhead. Now, those winds that we saw earlier today, a result of a cold front that moved through earlier in the afternoon, allowing our high temperatures to drop down over what we had yesterday. Yesterday's high temperatures came through in the 70s. Today, though, we only made it up to 60 degrees even, which is still above average. Pretty good. And our low temperatures, because of the timing of that front, actually made it down to 42 degrees. But tomorrow morning is going to be a lot colder than what we saw this morning, thanks to that cold front continuing to push in some cold air. And by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, we're going to see those wind speeds come right on back again. Another high wind watch has been issued by the National Weather Service for the Guadalupe Pass lasting until 8 p.m. Central Time tomorrow evening. So be careful driving through the pass, especially if you have a truck route or anything like that through those locations. Winds are going to be strong enough to jostle your vehicle around. And even as we head into the afternoon hours here in the basin, I expect some more strong winds and possibly another wind advisory issued for the basin from the National Weather Service too, because we're going to be picking up into the 20s again by the afternoon time. Notice that westerly wind direction still remaining in play. Guadalupe Pass showing here at 32 miles per hour, but I do expect much, much higher sustained speeds. And of course, gusts are going to be stronger than these numbers shown here on this model. Now, even as we get to the evening time, 7 p.m., Odessa Midland still showing 20 plus mile per hour winds. So it's not until we see the sun go down that we finally see these winds begin to back off. And by the time we get to Wednesday, those winds will remain in the single digits before bumping back up again for our Thursday morning. So keep that in mind. We're going to get a break from those strong winds on Wednesday, but tomorrow is going to be another windy day. And thanks to that cold front kicking up those winds, temperatures are going to be in the 30s to begin the day. Now we'll be above freezing, which is great news. We're not worried about any ice concerns or anything like that, but it is still going to be a cold start. And with those winds picking up again for tomorrow, it is going to feel a little colder than it actually is out there, thanks to a little wind chill factor. Now as we head to the afternoon time, notice Odessa Midland at 56 degrees, but you can see that cool air off to the west, places like Hobbs, Carlsbad, Guadalupe Pass in the 40s. And as we get on into the evening hours, here come that cold air again, dropping our temperatures down even colder for Wednesday morning. So tomorrow in the 30s, by the time we get to Wednesday morning, we'll be at 30 degrees for our low. So a good couple of chilly mornings to start off the days each day this week. High temperatures tomorrow at 57 degrees, Wednesday at 54, then we start to recover Thursday at 55 and Friday and Saturday at 63 for the afternoon high temperatures. Not bad there. We also pick up some rain chances for Saturday morning. So watch yeah. out for that wind chill. That's right. Yeah. That is going to be a big factor tomorrow yeah. morning. After coming off the heat this week, and I had to basically turn on my AC last night. <laughs> it was no. so hot in my room. Wow. Well, get comfortable <laughs> with that AC heater switch because yeah. I think we're going to need it a little, a little often. And yeah. a lot of dust out mm -hmm. there we saw today. That's mm -hmm. true. Yeah, very cool photo that we saw. Yeah. Thanks, Dylan Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank you, Chase. Thanks.